Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anton Maroon, and today we got my friend Travis Manning right behind me with his Ram Promaster 3500 Extended. It's a really cool layout, very open, really excited. Let's get started. Woo! What's up, Travis? What's up? All right, so what, what do we got here? We have got my 3500 uh, extended Promaster. I named it Prime. There you go. I was uh, trying to think of names for <laughs> the van, and I was like, Ramazon, <laughs> Ramazon Prime Master. There we go. Thinking of all these stupid names, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go with Prime. It's nice. Just so much more simple. And it's a pretty prime build, so it kind of fits. Uh, let Let's actually start with the outside. Up top, we got uh, solar panels. I think you and Shaden both have like the black on the on the sides. Like it just looks super like concealed. Um, how'd you How'd you do that? So my my panels actually came black. Okay. Um, so oh really? The The edges are all black, powder coated aluminum, um, and then I've got. 900 watts of solar up there, so it's three 300 watt, 305 watt panels. That's pretty awesome. And then in the back, um, it's just open space, so you can get up there and stand if you want to clean them or anything like that. Sweet. Cool. And on the outside, I see you got little step ups, and also there's like a little fill valve. What is that? Yeah, I did my water tank underneath the van, so the water fill valve is just on the outside, really easy to access and you don't have to worry about getting spills inside your van when you're filling it um, when you put them on the outside like that. I just did the steps just to make it easy to get in and out and I kind of like the look of them as well. I don't know if you can see but with uh, Promasters the plastics are gray unless it's 2019 or newer so I got them all painted black and then I also did the undercarriage with an undercoating black, so it fills it in nicely. I really like the look of that. Nice. Yeah. And then I've got my T-vent slider window for some nice ventilation crossing through the van. Nice, nice, nice. This little gutter at the top. It's just like a rain gutter that you can buy on Amazon. And I don't know if you own a van or if you've experienced this, but if it rains, the water kind of like pools up in the seal and when you open the slider door it starts to drip in on you but with the rain gutter it makes the water go either side of the slider door so when you open it you're nice and dry even in a rainstorm wow that's really cool i guess we'll put that in the uh, link in the description yeah definitely put it in. it's a nice little product all right and then this is a uh, my shower right in the entrance um so if you're dirty from hiking or surfing or whatnot, you can turn this on, get a nice shower outside. Sweet. And then there's another option with the shower head up there. One reason I did the shower in the entryway, um, this is a removable pan, um, so you can lift it up and clean out underneath there. And even just right now, I've got dirt on my feet, but when I step in the van, a lot of the dirt gets caught in here before I actually go inside the van so that helps just to keep everything a lot cleaner. Yeah, is it pretty easy to uh, to remove and like to clean under because like if the dirt kind of falls like in the wedges and like it's super cool easy. you just like remove it and it takes like two minutes and then the side pops out and then you can just pull it out and clean it. Oh that's amazing. So pretty that's awesome. Sweet. It kind of feels like Nordic vibes, like an Icelandic design, mixed with like a Chipotle bathroom, kind of, <laughs> in a nice way. I feel like it's just like, they have this like very like industrial light tones. If you haven't been to a Chipotle bathroom, they're very nice. It was a compliment. <laughs> kind of feels like Sweden in here with like the light tones, industrial like steel backplate on the kitchen. I really like it. And the floors are bright and they add a lot of light in the in the space. Yeah, what was your inspiration for like these uh, color tones and the design? I don't know if you've seen like the car concrete architecture. There's a lot of really like modern architects that do buildings that are 100% concrete. And obviously concrete's gray. I was originally gonna paint the outside of the van gray too, but I just decided not to do that one. So 
I wanted to do gray and white um, with light bamboo tones to bring everything up. So we've got bamboo floors, bamboo countertop, white ceiling, some white walls, gray accents on the cabinetry. And then I've got a nice stainless steel backsplash there. And then all the appliances are stainless steel as well, like the, the shower head, the faucet, the shower head, and then the sink, stainless steel. Um, the outlets are stainless steel, the switches are stainless steel. Um, and then the fridge is stainless as well, so. Sweet. You're not gonna have any stains because everything is stainless. <laughs> That's amazing. the idea, but <laughs> cool. hate to break it to you, but fingerprints, stainless steel. Yeah. But they look amazing. Nice. I see you got like the cutting board, like uh, undermount sink kind of yeah. set up, like very clean look. Um, let's open it up. Yeah, so this is... Uh, and that's bamboo? Ba all bamboo. I did this all myself. Got a nice little cut out for your hand. You can pop that out. And then you have the stainless steel sink in there. Wow, how many uh, inches is the sink? Ooh. 15 by 17 or...? Uh, probably 15. 15 by 15. I don't know the exact yeah. dimensions. Pretty spacious though. I want to say it's like 8 inches deep. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really like really nice to use. Easy to do dishes and stuff. Nice. Um, Cool, and you got the induction stove. There's a little filter oh. in there too. Nice. Oh, cool. And does it just drain out through the bottom, or do you have a tank? Yeah, I don't have a gray tank, but... You don't uh, have one? I could install one. Okay. But where I'm at, I don't really need it. Nice. Uh, induction cooktop. That thing's pretty awesome. Really easy to cook on. Um, it gets hot super fast, um, so that's nice. And it doesn't put off a lot of heat into the van while you're cooking, um, mm -hmm. so that's nice as well. How's the electricity draw on those? Like, how long can you cook for comfortably? Do you worry about power at all? Power consumption? No, no, no. I've got 600 amp hours of lithium, so I could run that for a few hours, and I'm never going to be <laughs> cooking on that for a few hours. Yeah, ever. yeah. Um, and okay. then I've got alternator charging and solar charging, so I never have to worry about running out of... Uh, Power. Nice. Yeah, you can just turn that on, charge it by the alternator, also got the solar. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any like uh, uh, charging in, uh, input, I guess shore, shore power, right? Yeah, no shore power. Yeah, because when would you ever need that? Wow. When you're like on a campsite or something? But yeah, if you're you in a campsite really... and you wanted to, you could, but uh, in this van you don't need it. It's got more than enough power to supply everything for a long time. Sweet. You got a lot of drawers in here. Tons of drawers. Yeah, tons of drawers, <laughs> tons of hidden storage. Um, so this is my water heater, which is six gallons. And then the water filter system. So it's a three-stage filter system. Um, and then I keep my little rechargeable vacuum down here. This is a game changer for van life. You get dust and dirt everywhere. If you want to clean it up, just a quick... Good to go. Nice. So pretty awesome. Definitely need to have one of those in a van. And then I'll go down through these drawers here. Yeah. So these are awesome. They're magnetic baby latches um, to open and close the drawers. So you just put them on each side and then you can pull the drawer open. Uh huh. Um, and then. And that's because the magnet is there? How does that work? Yeah. Can we take a look at that? Okay. So, so right now it's without, it would be locked, right? Yeah, without the magnet, and then when the magnet goes on. Wow. So, so that's pretty gonna, awesome. I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna try. With the magnets or without? So this is without. Yeah. So now I put the magnet on. So you need them on both sides. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that's like magic. That's so cool. <laughs> the reason I went with these though. Uh-huh. This allows the drawer to still have the, the soft close capability, so it soft closes all the way in, yeah. whereas if it was another form of latch, it hits the latch before it closes all the way. Let's so see with, that soft with these, close. I just keep cutlery and a cutting board up there, and then um, in this one I've got towels and oven mitts and stuff. Um, and then this one's empty, and then I've got some pots and pans, and then I also keep like my vitamins and supplements in that drawer as well. And yeah. right to the left, uh, we've got a big fridge. Yeah, I got an awesome fridge. It's the Dometic CRX 110, I believe. Sweet. Yeah, I'm stainless steel. And that's awesome. 12 volts? 12 volt, yeah. Um, it's empty right now, but tons of storage. Two upper head cabinets, 
our overhead cabinets. Not a whole lot in there. Nice little mirror. Oh, <laughs> there I am. <laughs> um, cool, that's a lot of space. Yeah, tons of space. That's a lot of space. I don't know what I'll put in there, but it'll get filled eventually. And you're in here full time and you got so much like Oh, room. Yeah. I've got tons, ton, tons of room. I haven't really started to put like food and supplies in there, but yeah, I'm in here like five days a week. So wow, um, that's cool. And what's in the other drawer? Quite a bit of this one. I've got a book, dude. You got you got no stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where's all your stuff? I know. I don't have any food or anything in here. I eat out a lot. It's just, just so convenient. So you save on rent and spend it all on food. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. And then actually let's let's switch over here. You see that water that's a water timer. Yeah, right? so that's the timer switch for the water heater. You just I can turn the water heater on for 20 minutes and that gives me enough hot water to take a shower comfortably. And you got hot water out of your sink and your shower. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so pretty awesome. Um, really easy to use and that way you don't have to have the water heater on all the time. Um, it's on a timer switch and you can adjust like depending on your needs how long and how much hot water you need. Like if there's two people, I'd probably set it for like 30 or 40 minutes instead of 20, um, just to make sure that it's really hot and that I have enough to get through um, two showers. But for me, myself, I can just set it to 20 and I'm- Wow, that's amazing. Awesome. Yeah, one thing I've always, uh, I've seen your work before and one thing I've always like admired is like your clean lines, clean cuts. Uh, like this bamboo, I can't get over. Like it's just such a clean look. Like, do you, what's your woodworking experience? Like, what, what is it, I don't know, I guess like, what does it take to build this like clean... Patience. Like you've been doing this for years, right? A few years now, well like in vans at least. Yeah. Um, I did like in high school, I did like woodworking shop classes. Um, so I guess I learned a little bit there and then um, I did construction for a little while. But that's, I don't know if you've ever done construction, <laughs> you know that it's not a, yeah. a clean, um, a clean job that's for sure you can have pretty big tolerances when you're building with that stuff your cuts don't have to be perfect and mm -hmm. you know you got a lot of leniency in that but with this um this type of van building you don't really have much discrepancy and your margins have to be very very um accurate so yeah like you'll see everything like everything like all yeah. your work is here in plain sight and it looks pretty dang clean thank you yeah <laughs> Um, let's take a look right behind you. I see big freaking giant closet. Huge closet. <laughs> like um, so much space in a van. A lot of, I've never seen a closet this big actually in a van. Yeah. It's and, almost as big as my closet in my house. That's what everyone says. And they're like, you have that much clothes. And I'm like, well, it's not just for clothes. Like you can put a lot of things in this closet. Yeah. Um, so cool. Got these nice organizers, little cubbies hanging from the curtain rod. One for my shoes, one for shirts and stuff, and then like laundry, dirty laundry, hanging storage. Um, underneath I've got like cleaning towels, cleaning products, and trash can. I actually forgot the, um, the toilet is in here as well. It's in this box that pulls out inside the shower. Oh cool, you gotta show me that. So I'll show you that. Yeah. But this is pretty nice. Sweet. I like having all the storage. Yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want to have to sacrifice all that room. Totally. Yeah, that's amazing, dude. Like that's so much space. I've got latches here on the side. This just um, holds it close and there's a rubber seal around the door. Uh huh. Um, so the rubber seal keeps it from getting wet because this is a shower. Um, and then you pop those latches and then you open the door. I need to put a handle on this, but then the toilet pulls out right there. Um, and you can do your business. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. It's pretty cool. And just shut the door and you have all the privacy in the world. And yeah. now how, how practical is it to actually go to the bathroom and dump it and like... It's just a composting toilet. Yeah. There's the urine diverter in there as well. Sweet. So you got two different sections and yeah, it's pretty easy to jump. You can just go to a campground or anything like that. And then you've got curtains if you want a little privacy while you're in the van. And then shut the door. And put the window cover in. You get um, fully private. Yeah, it's really nice. If you put the window cover in, you know, you can open it. You need some ventilation. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, a 
forgot about this too. I tiled the, uh, the top and bottom of the door just to match the the shower. So I'm yeah. pretty happy with that. Looks it good. Looks awesome. And yeah, again, stainless steel, like, it's like a nice shower head. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Yeah, let's mosey on over through through the van, through the hallway. Yeah, yeah let's let's take a look at... So we got, like, the living space. Yeah, so how, how many people can you fit in here? Probably six, comfortably. Okay. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice good. Nice big table, place of poker. Had four in here so far. It's been my max, but yeah. Nice table. Yeah. You can do remote work or play games or just hang out and eat your dinner or whatever. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's cool, man. There's a lot of space here. Yes. For real. Like, <laughs> seriously, you can have people like cook in over there, fit like six people here, play some games. Where's your heater? Like, if it gets real cold, you, do you have a heater? No. And how do you how do you feel? Is it like well insulated to where you don't need one? Do you have to get cold at night sleeping? Like how does that work? How do you feel? I've never been cold in here. I mean, I'm in Southern California, so yeah. it's not too cold ever as True. it is. But yeah, no, I'm never cold. Like always nice and toasty. The insulation is super thick. I used uh, Thermofiber Ultra Bat insulation, okay. so it's formaldehyde free mineral wool. Oh uh, wow! And it's also like a really good sound barrier as well. So when you're like, if you ever have to sleep on the, like the side of a road and there's cars driving by. Um, it blocks a lot of the noise um, from the cars and stuff outside the van. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice, helps you sleep. And I didn't do any windows in this back section because when I sleep, I like to have it really dark. Um, totally. Are you like super sensitive to light, like right when you wake up? Yeah. Yeah, no, like, right when the sun hits, you yeah, wake up. Yeah, if the up. sun's yeah. coming up and it's peeking through the blinds, I'm, I'm up. Yeah. So when I when I go to bed, I make sure it's nice and dark back here. And I did these cool little bamboo accents just to kind of tie in with the table and the floor. Um, and then I did have the idea of doing art pieces because mm -hmm. these light I don't know these lights remind me of like an art display in like a museum. Yeah, <laughs> like, you see the, like the picture hanging on the wall. And totally, you get some you art the light going. <laughs> hanging down on it. So thinking of getting something to put up there. Totally. Back here, just my inverter switch if I. I usually would just leave it on if I'm going to be using it. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I'll turn it on um, and then use it when I need it and then put the bed away, turn it off. I've got my battery monitor that I can look at if I need to. And then I've got USB chargers in left and right. So if you're ever hanging out and you need to charge your phones and stuff, people, there's like four different um, outlets for people to charge with. Oh, that's cool. So pretty awesome. I'm going to steal that idea. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, it's nice. Cause it's convenient too because when you're sitting here, you can even plug in a laptop. Cool, man. And we are we are just chilling. Like, I forgot we're in a van for a second. This feels like a living room, but we're like right under your bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do you want to like show us like how that works? Yeah. So it's 60 inches and then when the bed is fully down, mm -hmm. it's six foot three from end to end. So pretty tall person can fit in it. And then the width is 55 inches. So wow, it's pretty wide yeah. for a bed in the van. If you want to, you can convert this section, the couch section into a bed too, but I've never done that. Yeah. So you could probably fit four people if yeah, you, you wanted to. Two, yeah. two up top, yeah. two in the bed, like down yeah. here. Yeah, you Like if you're like it. hosting, yeah. Yeah, you could definitely sleep for it. Oh, that's uh, cool. Nice, man. Where's the switch? Uh, Where? So for the bed, it's just on the wall here. There's a little happy jack switch right there. So pretty S awesome. Sweet. Cool, yeah, let's, let's, let's put it down and see how it looks like in bed mode. Yeah. Uh-oh, this is scary. <laughs> Dude, be careful. <laughs> Dude, be careful. It's almost there. Dude, watch your head, dude. Okay. Woo. No, the sweat, the switch scary. is super sensitive, so it's easy. I get claustrophobic. So if your head was here, would it just crush you, or it would know? No, this you just control it by a switch. It's not going to move unless you, like... Okay. So, like, but it, like, so yeah, you stop, you stop it, it automatically. Yeah, cool. Sensitive. Pull this off so I can put it all the way down. And it feels very open in here. Like, you fit a lot of stuff in a very, like, efficient way. Yeah, I just... I hate... Well, so... I have built a van before, and in my last van, I, I really didn't like how claustrophobic I felt inside of it. Yeah. Um, it was basically like one giant hallway, and I felt like I was always like closed in, and so I really wanted like more open space. Yeah. Um, it feels so open. Love it. 
With this, the backrests of the cushions actually form the rest of the mattress when you put it all the way down. But there are some extension pieces. Oh, really? For, the, can... top, for the top bed? Yep. Um, um, just when you don't have any guests. If, totally. you have, if you have guests, you wouldn't lower it this far. You'd mm -hmm. keep it up here. And then you'd use the extension pieces that I have to make the full bed. And then you can make the bed under there so guests can sleep. But now, wow. this is the bed. Oh, nice. So, got all sorts of lights in here. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, and I really love the backlight or the uh, LED strip. Like, yeah, the backlighting. Very calming. I yeah. really enjoy that. Um, and then, yeah, to fully make the bed, all you have to do is just kind of flip the blanket over and put your pillows at the end. And you've got your full bed. So, pretty awesome. I'm f so I'm 5'9, and if you, I've got quite a bit of room, like if my head's right at the wall, I've got quite a bit of room down at my feet. Yeah. Look there, so it's pretty nice. And starfish out. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of space. All sorts. And then at night, I use these as my vent fan. Wait, what is that? My vent fans. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. So I've got two of them here. Is that leading to the outside? Uh, like, yep. what? That's 12 volt? Yeah, two 12 Whoa. volt vent fans. Um, so those vent directly outside. And when I open the T-vent slider window, mm -hmm. it pulls the air all the way through. Wait a second. Oh, you don't you don't have like a max air fan. It's Whoa. just one continuous ceiling. So no way. It goes all the way through. I just noticed that. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Dang, that, yeah. you might be the first van in history to not have a max air fan in their vent. I don't know very many others. Dude, I don't. <laughs> so that's your only source of ventilation plus the window. Yeah. And you feel comfortable. Totally good. Oh yeah. Nice, are you sure? Definitely. <laughs> I've, I've turned those on high and left the window open and had to turn them off because I was cold. Dang. Yeah, this is crazy. Like it pretty much goes against like conventional wisdom like everybody always fills that space with like a vent fan and you have no heater, but with good insulation and like just strategic little fans, like you feel good. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, I've slept in this in 30 degrees and- And you felt good? Yeah. I guess you just add another blanket if you feel cold, but I'm, like- Yeah, I just have two blankets in here and I was in, it was 30 degrees and I just had these two blankets and I was fine. Wow. So is, there, awesome. is there anything you don't like about your van build? I know it's kind of putting you on the spot, but like, I don't know. I feel like you got everything you need, but like. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Honestly. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean. I like this van. It's a really nice van. It's a nice van. Cool, and you don't have uh, any doorknobs in here either. Like any cabinet. Uh, yeah. You have like the leather straps the leather here. Leather straps. And, and here you don't have any any uh, yeah, any knobs. It's just. The, the finger slots. And... Yeah. I really like the uh, the step that I did here too into the cab oh it yeah it kind of continues the living space into like the front totally um, yeah and do you have any like thing behind the walls is that just like this is where all the plumbing is oh cool under yeah nice so the plumbing's under there plumbing's behind the wall okay and then i've got the water heater and i've got all the storage up above as well totally i yep. have my window reflectors up there but yeah, I mean the feng the feng shui is here is really nice, really spaced, really open. All the all the stuff like plumbing and wiring and stuff, it's like it's just so hidden. You don't you wouldn't even know it's it's here. It feels like a house. Yeah, when you close the curtain at yeah. night, block that off, and you just look from here back, 100% feels like a house. Yeah, like just back there, you got the cozy little bedroom, like beautiful nice kitchen. Little kitchen. Everybody wants an open kitchen. You have like yeah. so much room. Like a lot of people with like the fixed showers, you know, they're so blocky and they're so. Yeah, because if I did a fixed shower, it would literally take this entire space up. Yeah. Whereas doing the shower here, it's super spacious. I can store things in there. I can hang wetsuits. I can put my dirty shoes in there when I come in. Like, it's super nice. This is clean yeah. right now, but normally I would have my shoes and stuff there just to keep dirt out of the van. I like to keep it clean. I like to walk barefoot a lot and be barefoot inside my living space. And there's nothing that drives me 
more nuts than having like particles of sand or like rocks like stick to the bottom of your feet when you're trying to walk around barefoot. Dude, I'm really impressed. I freaking appreciate you showing me everything. Yeah, you want to lift up that the Happy Jack bed and uh, show us the bench stuff and maybe like where the electrical system is. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, just putting the bed up, you know. Easy work. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> nice man. Let's, let's see what's in these benches. Cushion off. So, it's just carpeted inside right now. Okay. Um, tons of storage. Yeah. Um, I haven't put anything in there yet, but... Dude, that's crazy. You got, like, no stuff in here. You live <laughs> basically full-time. That's so crazy. Yeah, I need to get some more things in here. Probably. <laughs> but... Cool. And you got this hammer here, and this bench. Yeah, the hammer is my uh, self-defense at night, <laughs> you know, just in case I get some crazy trying to break in or something, you never know. Yep. And, and it comes in handy, you know, I build vans, so. Yeah, you never know when you're going to need a hammer. <laughs> exactly, every once in a while you need a hammer, and uh, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> and then the other bench, I know the electrical's in there because yeah. I helped you out one day just a little bit. All right, on the it's other the side. Bench. Um, Sweet. I've um, just got some crap in there. More storage. More storage. But there's the DC to DC charger. This is the end of one of my batteries. And then over here, I've got the electrical all system. the electric. Wow. It's my charge controller, and then the other battery, my 3,000 watt inverter. So pretty awesome there. Some fatty batteries. Yeah, you each one's those. yeah, each one's 310 amp hours. So technically, I've got. 620 amp hours, but I just say 600. Yeah. Uh, it's easier. <laughs> I feel like we should show the outside of the vent fans, because those are pretty cool. Like, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's go on the outside. All right, so one of my favorite features in here is that you actually have something I've never seen before, which is hidden toe kick drawers. Uh, let's check that out, please. So, pretty cool. You can actually open it with your toe. <laughs> That's wild. But, I've Whoa. got three drawers down there. Dude, can we open them all? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, there's one there, one here. It's literally a toe kick. One here. Pretty nice. awesome. You can put whatever you want in there. With That's this cool. this little light, it kind of illuminates the inside of it. Like, That's cool, man. I've never seen that before. Like, for real. <laughs> Dang. How'd you think of that? I just didn't want to waste the space down there. Yeah. Like, I probably won't use those dra drawers that often um, in reality, but well, yeah, cause you don't if I didn't have the drawers, it's just empty space under there, and I didn't want any empty space. That's so. super smart. I can put things that I'll use, but not use often. Like, if I have, like, a baking sheet or something, because I am going to get a <clears throat> induction oven yeah. to put in here. Where's all your water storage? It's all underneath. Under the van? Yeah. Whoa! So, there's 40 gallons underneath the van. No way. I'll show you. Oh, that's cool. I, I camouflaged it, so it's really hard to see. So. Yeah. The tank is under there. So, Where is that? Um, that's the tank strapped up under there with metal strapping. Uh, and it's pretty camouflaged. I painted the outside black. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's also... But that's not your typical, like, water tank, right? No, I mean, it is, uh, just not normally in, like, a van. That's what it's designed for, but... Wow. There's also, like, a heating pad on top. Okay. So, if I ever go Went into the some snow. snowy climate, I could turn the switch on and have a heating yeah. pad on there just to keep it from freezing, but... I don't really plan on taking this into uh, the snow. That's cool. I still can't believe you don't have like a max air fan or something. It looks like a rocket ship kind of. <laughs> like, yeah, like those are my boosters. Turbine blasters are gonna <laughs> pop out there. When you like, <laughs> when you turn the fan on high, it kind of sounds like a rocket booster. Really? <laughs> very aesthetic. Very like. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Not the rocket very booster. stealth. <laughs> Someone's definitely not living in this van. Kind of sounds like it's gonna blow up. That's just on full blast. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. I just built a little cubby there to hold it. Nice. Um, so it's easy to get in and out. These get dirty, so the dirt stays in there. Yeah. Rather than like going around the van. 
So cool, man. Dude, if you were just chilling here with like four or five people, you open the doors, you got the view right here, kind of hard to Fire see. Fire at night. Fire at night, like, it's like the perfect setup. Yeah. Got the okay. one wheel out. Cruise around on the one wheel. Thanks for checking out the van with me. Thanks for watching the van tour. I'll see you later. Ha <laughs> ha.